Hi, uh, this is Christian from Good Old Company uh, with yet another little coffee break for you uh, and uh, hoping to teach you a little bit about fish leather. Uh, I had a very good question from Ken. He asked if uh, what's the difference in uh, fish leather and the fish leather types. So I'm going to try to explain to you a little bit about that. Uh, the fish leather that I'm using is of uh, three types. Uh, I have the salmon, I have the wolfish, and I have the cod. Uh, the cod is probably uh, the most common fish uh, of them all. Uh, caught uh, outside of the coast of Iceland uh, by fishing trawlers and uh, the shin is tanned in Iceland. Uh, the surface of the cod, I hope you see this, uh, is also the roughest. You can hear it when I scratch it. Uh, what I'm using is a closed scale uh, type of fish leather. Uh, fish leather comes in uh, mainly or roughly two types, closed scale and open scale. Uh, if you look at a set cut you can see it's rather smooth surface on this. Uh, this is closed scale while we have like on carp very open scales uh, and we can have that on car and salmon also. Uh, wolfish differs in that it's no scales. This means the fish has originally no scales. So uh, the surface of, of, of wolfish leather is very 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 small. And this is also uh, the rarest uh, of uh, the fish leather that I use because it's caught outside the coast of Iceland and it's only tanned in Iceland. I know of no other tannery in the world than uh, Atlantic leather in Iceland that tans the wolfish. So this is uh, not only unique as fish leather, this is unique fish leather. Uh, and it's the smoothest uh, surface of them all. It's got to feel like a, a almost like a waxy paper or, or, or something. It's it's very 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 smooth feel. Uh, the salmon, you know, on the silver color or or, or the grayish uh, color, uh, it is smooth because I'm using the closed scale. Uh, you can have it with uh, open scale. Uh, but I'm using the close scale. I like it. it it's got more elegance, I think, uh, but that's just my preference in, in, in my design. Uh, it's smooth. Uh, it's got uh, scales not far from the python. Uh, the, in, in, in the looks, it's got its biggest scales, uh, but the python is more like uh, the cut. It's rougher. So cod on, on the feel is more like the python, whereas the salmon uh, on the feel is uh, like a, a no-scale snake skin, for example, uh, the, 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 the clean surface. And it's a smooth surface. You, you can hear it when I scratch it, there are no bumps in it, where uh, cod usually has uh, this little more bumpy uh, surface, a little rougher surface. But it can also be very, 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 very smooth. Depends on 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 the age of the the, the cut when you get it. Uh, another question that uh, Ken had was, uh, how do I know about the quality? Uh, that's a very, very good question. Uh, I don't know how to to explain exactly uh, how do you know about the quality of, of fish leather. Uh, I go through uh, the fish leather that I get and I only buy it from Iceland, from the tannery in Iceland because uh, they've been dealing with this for 20 years and I fully trust them and, and, and I sort out the quality and, and I go by the quality of 
uh, the surface of it and the backing of it. Uh, fish leather in Iceland is chrome tanned and you can see that on the back side of uh, the leather it's got this bluish color uh, which means it's, it's chrome tanned. Uh, I find chrome tanned uh, it's difficult to say that chrome tan is more quality than, than vac tan, uh, but uh, it is stronger. It, it allows for, for uh, more surfaces to be, be, be made. You can have a color palette that's much whiter than uh, the, the, the vac tan leather. You can, you can have almost do whatever you like, treat it just like any other leather. Uh, and the experience that we have from the history of, of, of wet tanned fish leather in Norway and uh, Iceland uh, during and after the war when, when, when poor people were making shoes from uh, uh, fish leather, uh, this one is stronger. They weren't lasting long enough. That was the big problem and that was the main reason why uh, fish leather isn't so common because the shoes after the war uh, they just weren't lasting long enough. This on the other hand as I've showed before it's a very 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 strong material uh, that lasts so I would say you want high quality by from Iceland. That's the only uh, the only thing I can say with with certainty that, that uh, I, I, I like it. I, I have bought from them uh, second grade and third grade and, and first grade uh, and what I use in, in, in my, my projects today, I buy, I buy only first grade material and get very, very good service from them. So, so I know it's quality that I get uh, and that's as far as I can go in, 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 in say, uh, say anything about the quality. Uh, I test out the, 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 the shipments that I get and, 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 and see them, uh, how, how they work in, 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 in both surface, color fastness and things like that. And, and, and that's how I, I know its quality, by testing. Uh, for regular people, uh, what can you do? Sorry, I, I, I can't really answer that question uh, honestly. Uh, but I can promise you that, that my wallets are made of the highest quality that I get my hands on uh, of, of fish leather and, and if the quality is not good enough uh, I'll just feed it to the dogs. No, they won't like it so I won't feed it to the dogs even. Uh, but I don't do, I, I, I don't, if I don't like the surface of it, I, if I don't like uh, what I get, I don't use it. It's as simple as that. I uh, hope that answered some of your questions. Uh, if you have got any more questions, feel free to, to, to send them to me. Ask whatever I, you think that I can answer uh, and I'll try my best to answer it in as honest and good way as I can. Thank you and have a nice day.